Okay, I'm going to show you a video on how to make the Z bars for the Mendel. So, what you were looking at is uh, the frame uh, vertex. I went ahead and I removed the bolt here, the bolt here, the bolt here, and the bolt here. And I'm going to replace those with coupler bolts. Now, this is its own kit. These clamps are a separate item, they come in a pair of two or they're in part of the 3D printer kit. You go ahead and you put the coupler on, put the second coupler on, and then you want to put the clamp on. Now, you don't want this clamp to be tight. You just want it to be barely on, and it might be a tight fit, so you not, might need to push on this a little bit to be able to screw it in. Um, coupler bolts aren't that precise. Uh, a lot of times they're a little bit bent. These ones are fairly good. I'll try not to get bent ones, but if you get one that's bent or you drop it and bend it, it will still work. Uh, you just need to squeeze it a tiny bit and uh, to get it going. Okay, so uh, we got that on. Uh, we got that one on. And what we do is we use these couplers as a spacing for the uh, the, the Z bars. And um, go ahead. Want to make sure that. Uh, these are tight because you don't want your Mendel to wiggle and loose on you because uh, that would be bad. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tighten this one. Okay, so those are tight. And then you go ahead and you put this in. And you you want it to really be level to where this the bottom of this is. So, um, I don't know. Take your wrench, and uh, so actually, what I really want is you, you want it to not be touching because it'll scrape and damage your surface of furniture or whatever you're going to put this on. So have it up a little bit, and uh, you proceed to uh, tighten it. So in my case, I just use the wrench, and then once it's uh, hand tightened enough, the clamp will hold it uh, in place on its own. And then go ahead and uh, you you tighten this. Now, don't tighten this too hard. This this part uh, will break. It's you know it's it's a durable plastic. It's nowhere near as breakable as, as acrylic, but you don't want it to crack because uh, if it cracks or breaks, then you're out of part, and then you'll be calling me, and I'll be saying, oh wow. Well, I'll get you one as soon as I can, and I definitely can't get it to you as soon as you want me to, so please don't break them. All right, this one, this one is, uh, there we go. It's a little bit sticky, touchy. There we go, I got this one on. Okay. So I got that right there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this now. Generally, these are going to be the same size. This is just two sets of spare um, tubes I have. So normally you'll have about an inch left remaining. You want a little bit left, and I'll show you why in one of the next videos. Uh, so here you go. So here is the, uh, the Mendel with the Z support for the catalyst printer. No measurement needed. Everything's good here. Uh, you, you will need measurement for the uh, the axis, the sliding axis, but there's your Z. And uh, next video, I will show you how to construct uh, one of your Z motors.